from the Bob Mills Weather Center, meteorologist Stephen Nerens. So as we mentioned already today, the first ozone alert of the year. And if you lived around here for a while, you're probably familiar with it. But if you aren't as familiar with it, of course, when we talk about ozone, ozone development up in the upper levels of the atmosphere is one thing. That's a good thing. But we don't like to have ozone that develops near the surface because it's it's unhealthy to be breathing in. And what happens on a day like this when it's sunny and it's hot and also humid and we don't have any wind, really light winds that traps any of those pollutants that come from maybe your car, your lawnmower, gas powered mower near the surface, they don't really have anywhere to go and then that ample sunshine kind of triggers a little bit of a reaction with those pollutants near the ground that's what helps that ozone develop near the ground that's why a day like today is kind of ripe for that sort of thing to happen so that's why we encourage folks to kind of take steps to help combat that uh, and so far those numbers are relatively low but they usually come up in the later afternoon hours there's a little bit of haze hanging in as we look from downtown it's already steamy. 93 heat index of 100 and that's never good to see when it's hot winds calm so it's uh, not, uh, there's really no air movement to help us out today. So dew points in the 70s. As I mentioned, the most recent ozone numbers are still in the kind of the lower category. That's good. But usually, you know, we hit 4, 5, even 6 p.m. That's when those numbers are coming up later in the day. So still encouraging folks, as I mentioned earlier, if you can limit your travel today, limit the amount of times you're driving around during the daylight hours, try to avoid refueling, uh, hold off on, if you're doing yard work, hold off on those gas-powered lawnmowers, gas-powered lawn equipment. Those are all things that can, are fairly simple that can help us out. Uh, we're into mostly the low 90s, few upper 80s on the map, uh, especially north of Tulsa. Heat index values, we've been pushing right around 100, bouncing around 100, as I just mentioned in Tulsa, above that already. Okmulgee, Muskogee, McAllister, you fall up. The heat advisory for pretty much all of us today, again, one or two counties not included, technically in southeast Kansas, northwest Arkansas, but it's going to be steamy <laughs> everywhere. Heat index of at least 105 in most spots, and some areas will be higher than that. And the next few afternoons are going to be pretty similar to that. I think tomorrow we might bring it down maybe a degree, but that's about it. Uh, highs creeping up towards 100 Friday and Saturday, but we are still cautiously optimistic for a pretty good cold front by Sunday. Showers and storms are staying up in Kansas right now, kind of on the northern edge of that heat dome, that upper level ridge. But but a few of those are going to try to fire up further south late today from late afternoon through this evening. The further north you go, north of Tulsa, you got a little bit better shot. Uh, but even here in the metro, it's not out of the question that we could see an isolated shower or thunderstorm or two develop. So low 90s north, mid to upper 90s from Tulsa to the south. And then later this evening, once again, a few showers and storms possible that could cool some folks off. That's the good side. The bad side is, as you know, this time of year, thunderstorms that develop pretty quickly in the summertime heat and then they fall apart and they can produce some very strong winds. So we'd have to watch for some gusty wind potential uh, with any storms that develop late today into this evening. Might still have one or two kind of left over in the morning. It'll be a mild. We'll be in the 70s. And tomorrow afternoon, uh, outside of any cloud cover, it's going to be steamy. Once again, low 90s north, mid to upper 90s to the south and still could be one or two storms hanging on late in the day Thursday. That long awaited cold front is still on the horizon, but we got several hot days to get through Friday and Saturday. Triple digit heat because becomes more and more likely that cold front approaches us by late Saturday and right now it looks like it gets in here Sunday and then kind of slows down a bit but at the very least we should be starting to bring the temperatures down a bit on Sunday especially across northeastern Oklahoma so that seven day forecast four hot days four really hot days I think to get through today tomorrow Friday and Saturday especially the good news if there is any good news here is that we do bring back a stronger breeze Friday and Saturday slight chance for a couple shower and storms with that cold front Sunday morning and then a little bit more reasonable temperatures and it's like highs in the upper 80s for us behind that cold front from Sunday and especially on Monday looking pretty nice to start next week